want to pass judgment. And every time you hear the term judgment, folks get kind of concerned and they understand that that term judgment, oftentimes it is a negative word in terms of uh, folk, in terms of God giving the folk. You know what I'm saying? But what God is saying now is there, there is a moment in time when he will allow the enemy to run and to do certain things. And sometimes it seems as if his run against you is a long time. Y'all been kind of quiet already. You know, so there, there's some things happening right now in your life. Some personal things. Some personal issues. Some personal struggles. Some things that anybody have told you in your private time. Oh, this is one thing you won't get free from. There are some debts in your life. Yeah. That you feel as if God, watch this, that you will never get free from them debts. Uh -huh. There is some, there is some, there is some, watch this, there are, there are some cycles of defeat uh -huh. that you've been going through for a long time. Come on, this. Every now and then you get a word, you come out and go back in again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. You take 10 steps forward uh -huh. and fall back 20 come steps. On, yes, sir. Yeah. Come on, yes, sir. Yeah, to be told, he, just, he said, he's like, God, he stopped teasing me. Yeah. I keep coming out, yeah. and I go back in harder. All right, uh -huh. right now. Come on, this. So God says, what I'm about to do, I'm about to level the playing field. Yes. Uh -huh. Because we have a tendency to think, uh, you know, the study, that's eschatology, the study of things to come. We think the devil's the devil will only be bound up when Jesus comes back. Uh-huh. In the end times. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But I just read to you an account that Jesus came through town and caught the devil slipping. Uh -huh. And when he came through town, these devils that had this man bound for a long time saw Jesus coming uh -huh. and said, Jesus, why are you here already? Uh -huh. Ah. Go ahead. Because see, you know, demons know that's the yeah. They know that time is coming. Yeah. Yeah. But why are you here now? Yeah, come on. Aren't you here too early? Yeah. Uh -huh. So ah. don't you have more time to bust them up a little bit more? Yeah. Ah. Jesus. Don't you got some more time to mess her up some more? Yeah. Don't you got some more time to mess up that marriage a little bit more? Oh. Ah. Don't I got some more time to steal their money? Don't I got some more time to beat up on the youth? Why are you here already? I thought I had some more time to attack that ministry, but you seem to be here before your time. Why are you here? Don't I got more time? To go to go in the back door and throw hexes at the preacher. But they got more time to attack the family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I read it, Jesus. You, you said you're gonna come and throw me to the abyss. Why are you here? Yeah. Jesus didn't say nothing. All right. Because the Lord understood that this man was messed up for a long time. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. And so I want you to understand. That the duration of his bondage meant a lot to God. Y'all hear? Mm -hmm. It's funny. All the way, Mike from Mississippi tonight, he's going to do it. But it's funny. So the duration of it means a lot to God. Don't you think for a moment you're going through for a long time and God has not noticed you. Come on now. But we serve a God that sets a calendar. Yes. This, watch this, that has nothing to do with the 12 month count. Uh -huh. And he has set a moment in time for your complete deliverance. Uh -huh. So tonight, tonight God says, tell the people of God uh -huh. that I have set my calendar yes. for this moment uh -huh. to bring up out some stuff yes. that's been jacking you up yes. for a long time. Yeah, yeah. What are you saying, Bishop? I'm here to pronounce. They're going to stop calling you and asking you. Come if on. you pay $100, we'll cut the debt. Come on, I'm here to tell you. Yes. I'm come and ask you, how can, what can we do yes. to bless you, y'all? Come on, yes. 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 
He gonna come home. Uh -huh. Who knows why he came home? Uh -huh. Come on. He she still jobs up. <laughs> but something pulling him into the right alignment. Because God has a way of bringing benediction to some things in your life. Because this is the moment and the season of benediction. Look what's, yeah. happen what's happening here. Jesus passed judgment on these things. Yes. See, he said, it's enough. This is going on for a long time. Uh -huh. You had him jacked up for years. He couldn't even get something up. The Bible says that folk couldn't even pass through. Uh -huh. Jesus, yes. Did y'all read the fuck? Did y'all just see? He couldn't even, even walk. Folk couldn't even walk past. Because yes. he was tripping so much because he was demon possessed. Mm -hmm. When any of you jacks you up, he'll cut loose your support system. Uh huh. Get you by yourself. Yeah, mm. come on now. Jack you up yeah, uh, yeah. to make sure that nobody can pass by you yeah. without you still tripping. Yeah. All right, right. All right. Come on, this. That's right. Man. Yeah. Come on. Why? Because his watch this. His purpose is to isolate you, uh -huh. mess you up, yeah. make you feel as if God is through with you. Uh -huh. But God said, "I'm passing judgment before He returns." Uh -huh. I see the body of Christ coming into her own. Come on, man. Are y'all here tonight? Yeah. Yeah. I see people that has been struggling. See, I, I want to bless you because there are some folk that got struggles that nobody understands. And they got condemnation over their head. Because in their private life, they're jacked up. Y'all see they praising God. They falling out. They're having a good time. Uh -huh. And the enemy told them in the year. I'm going to keep the sound up. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes. Lord, man. <laughs> he told somebody, don't worry about it. You don't got a time. Because you got no, you, 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 you tore up. And so these entanglements been going on for a long time. Yeah. And this is the problem with you feeling like you can't get free. Uh -huh. Hopelessness will set in. Yeah. Hopelessness is a prerequisite before a manic depression and destruction of your life. So when the enemy begins to attack you, he lets you feel like, watch this, you can't get out of this. Yeah. Right now. This is a lifelong struggle. Yeah. yeah. They, they, he, he gonna come home, but he'll leave tomorrow again. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's going to happen for you tomorrow. But watch yourself. Yeah. Don't get too happy. Uh -huh. Because it's going to happen for you a wrong, the wrong way again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But tonight, God says prophesy to the people of God. Uh -huh. yeah. That you're about to go into a rhythm of miracles. Uh -huh. A rhythm of blessing. Yeah. An Abrahamic anointing. Yeah. And whatever your hands touch yeah. in this season, yeah. we'll run for you. Yeah. Are y'all here today? Yeah. So God said, let them know. I'm breaking some things off them. Yeah. Thank you, I'm passing judgment. On those quiet devils, yeah. been tying you up for a long time. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, sir. And what God is saying now, I want you to understand that judgment does begin in the house of God, uh -huh. but not the way you think. That's uh -huh. right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Because God says, in order for me to use you, you got to be free. Amen. You can't. Keep on getting tangled up mm. and tore all the pieces. You can't stay jacked up and expect an anointing to rest upon your head. So, God, I'm coming in this hour to speak a word of freedom over my people to get them loose. Are y'all here tonight? So, God says, I want you to understand that I'm going to pass judgment. In several areas. Yes. There are some demons that have been depressed for years. Yes. Mm -hmm. God said, I'm talking to them right now for you. Yes. Yes. Thank you Lord. Yes. And he says, I'm not going to broker an agreement. Uh -huh. I'm going to command them yes. to right. get out your house. Thank you, Lord. He said, I'm passing judgment in the financial realm. Yes. 
There are some things you've been saying, God, if I had the money, I would do thus and so. God, this is the season of Abrahamic breakthrough. So that this time and in this season, when you sow, it will come back to you good measure. Press down. Shake it. What? Because there is a moment in a season. God operate like us. See, he, he don't have to use a calendar. No, he does. As you and I know. He don't no, have a calendar. No. His calendar. And, and, and it could be, you could be more far ahead than what you think. Yes. Uh -huh. Come on now. Come on. Because God sets down and writes things. He doesn't, watch this, he doesn't have to have time. Uh -huh. No, he doesn't. You got to have time, not God. He doesn't operate by the power of the three-dimensional world. This is the fourth dimension. Where God will begin to speak a word over your life. And call those things that be not as though they were. So I heard God said, I'm going to take some things off you. So I keep saying it because you think it's over. Amen. You know how we get sometimes, y'all. Yeah, 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 we pray yeah. the same prayer ten, about, about ten years now. Yeah, uh -huh. yes, yes. <laughs> you get free. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And back into it uh -huh. again. <laughs> Come on with it, right there. All right. You know how we do. God gets you out. Uh huh. See, I'm talking about vices now. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Things that folk don't want to do, uh -huh. but they jacked up in doing it. Come on, come on. Because what devils wants to, what want to do is keep you jacked up in private. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. That's why he hates a support system. Yes. Yes. Because somebody around you got to know who you are. Yes. It's not scary to tell you God wants you free. Yes. 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 Oh, my God. Glory to your name. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Are y'all here? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm unplugged. Yeah, I'm unplugged. You can hear John. So, I said, God, what is this? He said, I, I am, I am, this is this is a prerequisite mm -hmm. before revival hits. Mm -hmm. yeah. He says, I am releasing the spirit of might on the church again. Yeah. Yes. The spirit of might is associated with the gift of faith. Yeah. Where miracles will take place because there's no fear around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Might is usually anointed that angels operate in. Yeah, mm -hmm. come on. Because when might comes on you, you get a boldness beyond who you are. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And so, God said, I'm going to give you an anointing where there's no fear involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that you start speaking over your own life. Yes, yes. Come on, over your baby's life. Yes. Yes. Over your own pocketbook. Yes. Yes. In this season, yes. it's going to be different. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Are y'all here? Yes. 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 And, and what, what we're saying is, God says, I have chosen the end of 2017 to step behind you. As you speak the word uh -huh. into your situation, yes. Yes. this is the moment in the time that this time when you speak, yes. it's not just you speaking, yes. Yes. but cherubims are speaking, yes. 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 cherubims are speaking, yes. angels are speaking. Yes. Yes. Are y'all here tonight? Yes. 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 So God said, let them know that, number one, real quick, stop being ashamed. That's right. Wow. Come on now. That's good, Bishop. Wow. It's not my job to call things out of your life. Uh -huh. that right. <clears throat> but it is my job to help you understand no matter where you are, God wants you free. Amen. Right? Amen. And because He wants you free, this is the hour of visitation. Amen. Where He's going to tell you, thank you, but He's going to tell you. That when I speak over your life this time, mm -hmm. come on. that thing will not come back, yes. come back. again. Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. Yes. So yes. This time, when I get you out of this situation, yes, it will not be able yes. to come back again. again. Come on, yes. All right. I'm going to give an example because we heard a lot, but I want to, I want to hit home with you. The, the term anointing, as highlighted in Isaiah 10 chapter, it talks about <coughs> the term anointing is really the term fatness. In other words, it, it, it denotes 
that something grows so big uh -huh. that it breaks the thing that's on it. Come on. Lord, yes. <laughs> so, so, so the anointing extends. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. God speaks a word into your stronghold. Yes. Yeah. Right. Mm. And the anointing extends uh -huh. yes. until that thing breaks. All right. Right. And God, this is the season that when it breaks this time, mm. the word I want to use is a word uh, uh, to be, uh, uh, what's the word? Obliv obliviated. <laughs> Not able to be replaced. <laughs> Reduce to shreds. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Reduce. The enemy can't be peaceful again and pass back to the It's over. <laughs> this time, when you say thank you, Jesus, there's going to be a praise that cannot be stopped. Are y'all here tonight? As the time is drawing out, I'm going to tell you tonight that we are pronouncing Jubilee over your life. Mm. This is the season where I'm telling you right now, some of you can receive it. I hope you can receive this. But you're going into a rhythm of miracles. Hallelujah. I'm talking about Yom Kippur. Yes. Mm. Baraka blessings yes. that cannot be stopped Come on, yes. by Aye. no devil. And this time, God says, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put you up in front of the folks that said you'll never make nothing out of yourself. Come on, now. I know that's right. I'm going to sit you down yes. at a nice table yes. that I prepared just for you yes. in the presence of you. Come on, of your enemies. God said, I made sure that cheap devil yeah. that had you bound all up. Yeah. I'll put him at the table beside you yeah. and watch That's you to right. eat and get blessed. Yeah. 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 What's my count? This is good. Glory. What brother Charlotte? Yeah. I need you to understand something. Tonight, this I want to. We we want to build a shofar. I don't tell you what this means. The Lord said to me, He said, "This is the year of the shofar." Uh -huh. It's the most This year of vindication. Yeah. I'm vindicating my people. Yes, Lord. Thank he you. Said, I've been counting the years. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Come on. I, I've, I've been Come counting. On, I've been counting the years. Watch this, and I've been counting the tears. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. oh yes. Ah. I've been counting the teardrops. Yes, God. You should have a God that can count teardrops. Yes. 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 Ooh, help not the holler. Yes. And he, he, can, he, can, he can count the teardrops. He said, I've been saving them up in a vow. Yes. Yes. And I said, I've been waiting on this season, Pastor Lori. Yes, yes. Come on, you ready to be back there for me? Uh, I, 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 I've, been, I've, been, I've been put in, 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 this, in, this, holy, in this holy vow. And I have prepared it for this season. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm going to use your own tears uh -huh. to water your blessing. Uh -huh. I wish I had somebody uh -huh. to I'm, I'm going I'm to use. Uh -huh. I'm, what I got? 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 Huh? Huh? I'm going to use your tears to furnish the blessing. I said last week that. What the type will do will open the window and give you a blessing you can't receive. Because uh -huh. I'm going to make sure I give you some room to receive in this season. Jesus. God ah. heard me. Yeah. So God said, I am counting, I've counted, I've counted. Uh -huh. He said, Double, you had your chance. Yeah. Uh -huh. You tried to destroy them, they're still here. That's All right. right now. Ah. You tried to stop their ministry, they're still here. They're yeah. still here. Yeah. Yeah. You try to stop the marriage and they're still here. Yeah. You, 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 you try to them to lose their mind and they're still here. You, you, you try to destroy their children and they're still here. You try to attack them on their job and they're still there. So God says, I, I have I have watched over you like a mother chick. 
Yes. I've been resting on you, Sister mm. Sharita. Thank you, God. That you may hatch yes. into the things of God. Yes. Mm. But what's going to happen now is the thing that had you tied up uh -huh. for all these years, yeah. go back up off you. The benefits of a bit of vindication with God do it is that He'll make sure that when He gets you free from, it can't attack nobody else in your family. Because what's happening now is this is a two for one sale, baby. He's gonna get you free and break some curses in the process. Not that you are cursed, it's that something try to stay resident in the bloodline. But you come to God. God's so mine. For God to get free. And they have to go out of you. We'll be Thank you. 
Thank you. 